The rusty world is full of mysteries, as well as some of the most severe geology in the solar system. Discover more about Earth's smaller and colder neighbor. Mars, named for the Roman god of war, has long been seen as a bad omen in the night sky, and the planet's rusty red surface in its own way conveys a narrative of catastrophe. Billions of years ago, the fourth planet from the sun may have been mistaken for Earth's smaller twin, complete with liquid water and possibly life. The globe is now a chilly, desolate desert with scant evidence of liquid water. However, decades of research utilizing orbiters, landers, and rovers has shown Mars as a dynamic, wind-blown terrain that may still host microbial life beneath its rusty surface today. Mars is the seventh biggest planet in our solar system, with a radius of 2,106 miles and is roughly half the diameter of Earth. It has 37.5% of Earth's surface gravity. Every 24.6 Earth hours, Mars turns on its axis, determining the duration of a Martian day, known as a Sol, short for solar day. Mars' axis of rotation is inclined 25.2 degrees relative to the plan of the planet's orbit around the Sun, resulting in seasons that are comparable to those on Earth. Spring and summer are experienced by the hemisphere that is slanted closer to the Sun, while fall and winter are experienced by the hemisphere that is tilted away from the sun. Both hemispheres get equal illumination at two precise times each year, known as the equinoxes. Seasons on Mars, however, differ from those on Earth for a variety of reasons. For starters, Mars is almost 50% further from the sun than Earth, with an average orbital distance of 142 million miles. This implies that Mars takes longer to complete a single orbit, extending its year and season durations. A year on, Mars lasts 669.6 sols, or 687 Earth days, while a season can last up to 194 sols, or slightly more than 199 Earth days. The angle of Mars's axis of rotation fluctuates far more often than Earth's, causing variations in the Martian climate on time frames ranging from hundreds to millions of years. Furthermore, because Mars's orbit is less circular than Earth's, its orbital velocity fluctuates significantly throughout the course of a Martian year. The date of the red planet's solstices and equinoxes is affected by this yearly change. The northern hemisphere's spring and summer are longer than the southern hemisphere's fall and winter. Another complicating element is that Mars has a far thinner atmosphere than Earth, limiting the amount of heat the planet can retain near its surface. Surface temperatures on Mars may reach as high as 70 degrees Fahrenheit and as low as 225 degrees Fahrenheit, but the average temperature is 81 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 138 degrees colder than the average temperature on Earth. The atmosphere of Mars, which is largely composed of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon, is the principal driver of present Martian geology. The air is absurdly thin by Earth standards. Air pressure atop Mount Everest is around 50 times higher than at the Martian surface. Despite the thin atmosphere, Martian winds may reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour, throwing up dust that generates gigantic dust storms and vast fields of alien sand dunes. Wind and water did, however, formerly flow over the crimson planet. Robotic rovers have discovered compelling evidence that lakes and rivers of liquid water flowed over the surface of Mars billions of years ago. This implies that at some point in the distant past, Mars's atmosphere was thick enough and held enough heat to keep water liquid on the red planet's surface. Today, there are no major pools of liquid water on Mars's surface, despite the fact that water ice abounds under its surface and in its polar ice caps. Mars is also devoid of an active plate tectonic system, the geologic engine that powers our dynamic Earth, as well as a planetary magnetic field. The lack of this protective barrier allows the Sun's high energy particles to more easily peel away the red planet's atmosphere, which may explain why Mars's atmosphere is currently so thin. However, until around 412 to 414 billion years ago, Mars appears to have possessed an inner dynamo that powered a planet-wide magnetic field. What caused the Martian dynamo to shut down? Scientists are still attempting to solve the mystery. Mars, like Earth and Venus, features mountains, valleys, and volcanoes, but Mars are by far the largest and most striking. Olympus Mons, the solar system's tallest volcano, rises 16 miles above the Martian surface, 
three times higher than Mount Everest. However, the base of Olympus Mons is so large, 374 miles across, that the average slope of the volcano is just slightly steeper than a wheelchair ramp. The peak is so huge that it curls with Mars's surface. If you stood on the rim of Olympus Mons, the peak would be visible beyond the horizon. Mars features not just the greatest highs, but also some of the lowest lows in the solar system. Valles Marineris, the red planet's renowned canyon system, is located southeast of Olympus Mons. The gorges stretch for around 2,500 kilometers and slash up to 4.3 miles through Mars's surface. The network of chasms is four times deeper and five times longer than the Grand Canyon, and it stretches for 200 miles at its widest point. The valleys were named after Mariner 9, the first spacecraft to circle another planet after landing on Mars in 1971. Mars formed from the gaseous, dusty disk that enveloped our young sun around 4.5 billion years ago. The interior of Mars has evolved through time into a core, a mantle, and an outer crust that is 40 miles thick on average its core is most likely formed of iron and nickel, like ours, but includes more sulfur. The best current estimates indicate that the core is around 2,120 miles wide, give or take 370 miles, but the details are unknown. NASA's InSight lander intends to solve the mysteries of Mars' innards by measuring seismic waves as they travel through the planet. Mars' northern and southern hemispheres are diametrically opposed, unlike any other planet in the solar system. The northern portion of the planet is primarily low-lying plains, with a crust as thin as 19 miles. The southern hemisphere's highlands, on the other hand, are densely packed with extinct volcanoes, and the crust there may be up to 62 miles thick. The red planet acquired its two tiny and irregularly shaped moons, Phobos and Deimos, at some time in the distant past. The two lumpy worlds were found in 1877 and named after the suns and chariot drivers of the Roman deity Mars. The origins of the moons are unknown. One theory is that they developed in the asteroid belt and were grabbed by the gravity of Mars. Recent simulations, however, imply that they might have originated from debris thrown up from Mars after a massive impact long ago. Deimos, the smaller of the two moons, circles Mars every 30 hours and has a diameter of less than 10 kilometers. Phobos, its bigger twin, has several scars on its surface, including craters and deep grooves. Scientists have long questioned the origins of Phobos's grooves. Are these the trails of stones moving over the surface following an old collision? Or are they evidence that Mars' gravity is pushing the moon apart? Humans have robotically investigated Mars more than any other planet beyond Earth since the 1960s. Currently, eight missions from the United States, the European Union, Russia, and India are circling or roaming around Mars's surface. However, reaching Mars safely is no easy task. Since 1960, 26 Mars missions have failed to leave Earth, went quiet en route, missed orbit around Mars, burned up in the atmosphere, crashed on the surface, or died prematurely. Time will tell, but no matter what, Mars will continue to occupy the human imagination, a glimmering red beacon in our skies and stories.